What up, guys? Today I'm doing a, a narrative play Warhammer 40k match. All right, let's get into this. Thing. So I've got 2,000 points of Space Marines right here. All right. Today I am going up against Death Guard. Look at the paint job on that stuff, guys. This is all hand painted by me. Um, I'll put a picture on the screen, make it look a little nicer, you know, but it's kind of cool getting into all this. So, yeah, here we go. All right, guys, welcome back to the battle report. So here, right here, we got the map that we're using for the battle today. So it's Audi versus me. First, I'm going to show you all our armies real quick. All right, so here we go. This is going to be my White Scars army. So as you see... We are going to zoom in on this stuff right here. So for our HQs, we're using a Primaris Tech Marine on the left there. Then we got a Primaris Librarian on the right. They got some crazy spells. And we got the Primaris Chaplain on bike right here, as you guys saw in the video. So after that, we got some troops over here. We're going to have these dudes with swords. We got the Assault Intercessors. Just a ton of them, all right? So we this is a very melee-heavy list that we're going for, you know? I had no idea what to expect going up against the Death Guard. So, we just kind of went crazy with it. So, we brought three Redemptor Dreadnoughts as well, which is a little bit, you know, crazy. I got all that Dark Angels and Black Templars heraldry on them, you know. So, besides that, we got six Blade Guard veterans. I decided to run them all as one squad instead of two just because, you know. So, then we got seven um, Van Vets with seven Chain Swords, seven Storm Shields. And we got seven more with 14 lightning claws. So besides that, we got a bunch of heavy intercessors from that new Pariah Nexus box. Then we got some eradicators. One of them's got a multi-melta. So this can be pretty crazy. All right, next up, here is the uh, um, Death Guard army featuring the drink that he got. <laughs> so we're not even going to talk about that. Here are two demon engines, which is pretty crazy. Bunch of Chaos Space Marines right here. We got some... Blight Crawlers as well. These guys were probably his MVP. They did a ton of work for him. So, anyway, some Death Shroud Terminators over here. A Demon Prince of Nurgle with boobs, as you can see. And then we got 40 Pox Walkers. And then another Demon Engine. So, overall, there was um, 2,000 points in this game, Strike Force. It was pretty fun. Here we are to the mission. So here we got my deployment right here. It was basically like this end of the board, like the one closest to the, you know, the camera here. So we got a bunch of dudes over here. We're going to look at this first. So this is a castle that I made. Um, I did get first turn, which was extremely lucky, you know, and it pretty much decided the pace of the battle. Um, so we got the Master of the Forge on the left there, um, and he is uh, healing three per turn for any of those dreadnoughts. Then we got this librarian, which was supposed to give a five up invuln to everyone within six inches and a um, a uh, plus one to strength, toughness, and attack, which he would give to this dreadnought right here. But he failed nine out of 10 of his spells. So just go with that, you know, like how you want. I guess white scars aren't the best for librarians this game, so. Besides that, we got this chaplain giving plus two to charge and plus one to attack at, or plus one to wound in melee. Not the best uh, sanctities for this for specific turn, but we'll take what we can get. So over here, we got the dreadnought as well, which is pretty sick. And then lastly, we got the heavy intercessors right here. And then we got blade guard veterans right here. So they were really defending the line. My biggest mistake I made was not putting anyone right here. So, all right, next up, we got his turn one, his deployment. So we got some demon engines right here. Those things have crazy mortars on them, which I like a lot. Uh, they definitely did some work for them. And then we got just a bunch of Chaos Space Marines. Their objective secured. These things are not, this objective right here, I'm gonna just spoil it now. This thing was not easy to take. I was not able to take it this game. That said, we got this objective right here. We got some Chaos Space Marines, some Pox Walkers, 20 of them, and then a Demon Engine right here. So this objective, you guys will see what happens to that in a bit, but it was pretty sick. Then finally, we got his deployment for his Blight Crawlers right here and his Demon Prince. And then he's got a bunch of Pox Walkers. He also had this dude right here in the back, which is, I want to say, Blight Lord. And, uh... 
it was pretty sick. Demon Engine is just another picture I took right here. They just look so good, you know what I'm saying? Okay, then one more close-up picture right there just because it's scary. So, luckily, my Dreadnoughts, they were able to move up the field right here despite their librarian not doing anything for them. They basically put everything... Oh, I was surprised. Okay, here are some pictures of some Termin or some Chaos Space Marines. They look pretty scary, man. Especially with this Blight Launcher. This guy looks so badass. So, anyway, oh, and that's the codex for him. Just show, he was showing me, you know, like, all the options they got, which I really like. So, now we have my turn two, or turn three. Yeah, this is turn two right here. So, I crawled up on the objective. I secured it with all these van vets and assault intercessors. And then what I did next was I moved my assault intercessors in right here to lock these dudes in combat, which was absolutely brutal. You know, that was a very good move on my part. So next after that, this objective right here was being held pretty well by all these pox walkers. The dudes over here were chipping away at them, but y'all will see what happens to them. So they get seven Vanguard veterans just crawled up with this chaplain that just moved 20 inches across the board um, to give them a plus two to charge. Which is pretty sweet. So they were able to get in there. They have 36 attacks, the seven of them, um, which is pretty sweet. And they're also rerolling all wounds and AP minus two, so you can't complain. So here we are. This four up in the right, top right was representing that demon engine, but this is a the turn three, so it was pretty good. I consolidated into that thing, so that guy couldn't. Uh, this thing was locked in combat. And then next we got the offending side over here. Just another picture of it. I moved those guys on it turn three. Um, there was pretty much nothing else I could have done in this situation, so I'm, I'm pretty much happy with what turned out, you know. Um, all these Vanguard veterans got eviscerated, and same with those guys. So he was able to retake that objective at the end there. Alright, then what do we got over here? So this is our objective. This term, this, uh, not Terminator, this Dreadnought kept getting healed by this Master of the Forge, so he was ne nigh unkillable. And uh, over here, these eradicators survived way too long. He was battering mortars at them every single turn, but I was still able to survive it. Just due to some luck on my part. Alright, then we got um, another picture of my turn four. This guy right here, the poor thing, look at him. He was able to survive long enough for the guy that I was playing with to get the points for that. Um... And then we have the chaplain over here just looking sweet as usual. He was unable to make the charge, so he just kind of chilled out back there. All right, then we have a picture from the end of the game with um, these demon crawlers coming up. And they were going to destroy that librarian and this dude over here. But what you see over here, we have the lone blade guard veteran. He was able to hold his own, which was pretty sweet. He was able to hold on to that objective the entire game. All right, and then look what we got over here. There's another picture of the end of the game. Um, he was having that thing head over there, but it just wasn't enough to take it for him. And then the final picture right here of the librarian being surrounded by those guys. Another picture of that thing right there. Just standard stuff. Here are my heavy intercessors. They didn't do that much work for me, but they were very unkillable, and they held that objective the whole game. So, all right, sweet. So, just another picture of the end game. Picture of my army, the graveyard. And that's going to be it. That's his graveyard right there. So. Alright, I'm missing the hat, as you see. Um, so, thanks for watching this battle report. It was pretty cool. I ended up winning 63 to 44, which is pretty sweet. Um, his name's Audie in the Emerald Tavern group chat. You know, it's pretty sweet. Um, I'm definitely going to play him again soon. So, y'all will see that as well. Otherwise, y'all have a wonderful day.